All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we'll get started. And if anyone else joins, we'll let them into the room. Uh, this will be a fairly short third Thursday, as you can all imagine. Um, like you were very busy with applications. We are very busy uh, reviewing applications, uh, not only for CDBGs, competitive award cycle, but for other programs that are housed under community development. Uh, so it's been very busy around here, as I assume it has been for you and your teams as well. Um, so we really just wanted to do uh, 15 to 20 minutes today, just give you um, a rundown of a couple of upcoming activities and then uh, go into a little bit of a description. Uh, we're going through a consolidated planning process, which is a requirement um, by HUD. Um, every five years, uh, the Kansas Commerce has to develop a new strategic plan um, to um, develop our priority, our funding priorities um, for the next five years. Um, and we are in the midst of that process and we're working with the consultant on that. And so I'll tell you a little bit more about that process and how you all can help us through that process um, in this PowerPoint. So, next slide. Um, same team, no changes here. Uh, just have a couple people who aren't with us today. Today, it's just going to be Brandon, Tim, Andrew, and Linda. Go to the next slide. Um, first off, um, anyone, anyone who's on who um, submitted an application that was due May 1st will then move to May 12th. Uh, we really appreciate your hard work and your efforts on applications. I can see, I know a few of you who are on this call. We really, really appreciate the work you put into the applications, whether you're grant administrators or someone from the community. Um, those are, you started the review process already. Um, we expect the announcements to be by early to mid July, um, but it won't be any later than that. So just wanted to give you guys the time frame on that. Um, upcoming events for CDBG. So did this not get updated? Okay, it's correct. Sorry, I was I was thinking June. I was thinking it was June twentieth instead of July twentieth. All right, grantee workshop. So if you win an award um, for our competitive rounds that were just submitted on May twelfth, we have reserved a room uh, to do our grantee awards workshop. If you um, win an, win one of those awards in McPherson on July twentieth, uh, we'll send out more information to awardees as those awards come in uh, or as we. Get closer to that date. Again, those will be for youth job training awards, nonprofit child care facility awards, any of the community facility awards, um, sidewalks and parks as well, and the architectural burial removal. Um, so those awards will have the grantee workshop on July 20th in McPherson. Um, after that, August 1st, um, we reserved a room and we'll send this out. We'll send this information out again. Um, for grant administrators, um, we're going to hold a couple of trainings this year. Um, we we're planning at least two. Um, the first one is going to be on August 1st. Um, it will also be in McPherson or McPherson. I apologize. We'll send the info out. Uh, we'll send that info out soon as well. So look for your email. Thank you, Sam. Um, and the, uh, the first admin training will focus on fiscal management of grants. Um, the environmental review, um, land acquisition, and then uh, what we'll what we'll go over in our initial monitorings and what's needed for that. If you have other suggestions as a grant administrator out there, um, um, we as you can see, we have an admin training too. We're going to schedule sometime in September or October for something specific you would like us to delve into deep in one of these trainings, um, shoot me an email or shoot one of our team members an email and we would be happy to include that. Um, so yeah, that's that in terms of our upcoming trainings. Um, one other upcoming event we wanted to mention um, from one of our colleagues um, in the community development program here in Commerce is an equitable entrepreneur ecosystem conference coming up um, Wednesday, June 7th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Great Bend. Um, if any of you all are interested, please, please um, look into that event. Hey, Shelly, I know you're on this call. Did you want to uh, unmute and explain this a little bit more? Yes. 
Sorry, it was taking me a minute to, <laughs> you know, how that goes. Yep. I just put the link itself in there since I'm sure people can't do that on their screen. Yep. So yeah, yep. thanks for actually mentioning that. So it was announced that the Equitable Entrepreneur um, Ecosystems or E3 and Kansas was actually one of 10 states that was selected to participate in this. And it's supported by Kauffman Foundation and um, it, and of course, Main Street America. So it leverages the past work that Main Street America has done with ecosystem building and combines some organizational partnerships with Forward Cities and um, International Economic Development Council, IEDC. So yeah, you. I mean, the biggest thing is the workshop is scheduled for 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on June 7th in Great Bend. And uh, we did just find out that that is also a day that the Creta quarterly training is happening. <laughs> We're like, um, whoops. I don't know if this was anything that we had specifically scheduled necessarily. So I don't think that's anything that can be changed. Um, but you definitely have to be in this workshop to be able to participate. It's mandatory if a community wishes to receive the additional support. So um Hopefully, you know, people can divide and conquer and, you know, ED people can go to one or the other and then maybe a, an engaged, vested community member can go to the to the other. So it should be absolutely incredible. You know, it's it's an opportunity for in community and virtual programming. And um, we're going to select three communities to implement the ecosystem building and they'll get to train the trainer and. Um, mind you, I don't know all of this on the top of my head. I am actually reading everything. So, <laughs> but it's, it's fantastic. But if you click that link, that's in your, um, in the chat, that'll definitely give you some more information and be able to register and it's free, 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 free. So that's, that's fantastic. So thank you very much. Bring a team, bring anybody that represents your community, um, small groups, groups, one, two, whatever. So they certainly encourage to, you know, build around those small groups and and bring it back to their communities and <clears throat> and you know maybe have some representation on from place and human capital and social capital, DEIA, um, financial capital, just all of it. Everybody knows what they're doing. You're doing a rock star job. So just show up and maybe we can actually have that community. You know, you could be one of those three communities that we select in Kansas. Awesome. Sounds like a great opportunity, Shelly. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Okay. Yeah, that's a question. Yeah, and so we had a quick question. Um, the events that we had showed earlier, uh, the grantee workshops and the admin trainings, uh, Diane, you had asked that these trainings will be available via team, Teams or Zoom, um, or will it only be offered in person? The, well, let's talk about that. In terms of the grant, the grantee workshop, that will only be in person, and those were, will be for awardees. Those are you're required to attend if you are one of the cities or counties who are selected. For the admin trainings, are uh, it would be best to be in person if you're an ad, if you're an administrator. It'd be best to be there in person. Um, I think our team will talk about possibly recording it, maybe sharing it. Um, but I think we need to have a discussion about that internally. But we'll let everybody know at the next third Thursday. Thank you. Thanks, Anne. Any other questions about scheduling or events or trainings before we move on to the survey? All right. Um, um, yeah, so the last thing we wanna talk about today are is the consolidated plan activities that CDBG is already engaged in. Um, as you can see here, we are required by HUD to develop a five-year strategic plan every five years. And luckily, I was hired right at the perfect time to be a part of this strategic plan. So I'm very excited to be a part of this process. Um, we are working with uh, Kansas that's Department of Health and Environment and Kansas Housing on this as well. They are our partners. And we are seeking, uh, they're also HUD funded. And that's why we're partnering with them. So if you're funded by HUD, you have to have a strategic plan. Uh, 
So we are seeking input from residents, local elected officials, community development stakeholders, economic development stakeholders, grant administrators, anyone who's in our CDBG universe to help us inform our strategic plan. Um, we have surveys as part of this. We're, gonna, we're sending out surveys, and those are for everyone to complete. Um, and the second part of that is we're going to have stakeholder sessions, and the stakeholder sessions we only want not residents to attend. Those will be virtual, um, but those are for stakeholders, so grant administrators, members of RPCs, community development organizations, economic development districts, city and county officials, people who have real, um, not just standard residents, but people who have a vested interest in what's going on in CDBG. Um, so let's go to the next slide. Okay, so first I'll talk about the survey. This is an online virtual survey. It's online. You can take it on your phone, but we would recommend um, everyone, if you, have, if you can, take it on your computer because it helps you get through it a little faster, just a little bit of the formatting issues and how the questions are asked. Um, but it should only take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. It is currently open and it closes on June 14th. Um, it's gonna ask you questions like, what is your role? Are you a resident or community development organization? Uh, what city or county are you from? Um, it's going to ask you about the amenities in your community. Um, what type of education systems do you have? What type of employment opportunities do you have? Is there affordable housing? Um, do you have nice community parks? Do you have access to healthcare? It's going to ask a lot of questions um, like that and ask you to rate. It is a random survey, so or a, a, a random survey, anonymous survey, so no personal information will be kept on on anyone. Um, Brandon, is there any way you could switch to the website? Yeah. So currently, if you want to go and take this survey today or anytime soon. You can go to the Kansas Commerce website. We just added this today, Kansas Commerce backslash CDBG or CDBG. Just Google CDBG Kansas Commerce. It'll come up. Um, this is our landing page. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this is our regular page. But just at the top, we have a section where you can click in English or Spanish and take the survey. Um, we would love to get as many responses for this survey as possible. So I would encourage you all, um, please share this link, share our, uh, you know, share our survey link, share the website link with anyone in your universe um, who's interested in CDBG or anyone in your community. I mean, this survey is open to any residents um, anywhere across the state. So your family members, your friends, your coworkers, anybody can take this survey. And the more responses we have, uh, the easier it is going to be, the easier it will be for us to set our priorities. Andrew, does the survey include water, sewer, infrastructure, and community facilities? There are questions about water, sewer, and infrastructure, and community facilities. I don't think they call it that explicitly, but it's there's water, sewer questions on there. Yep. Thanks, Anna. Yep. All right, so yeah, that's the survey. In terms of our outreach for the survey, we are going to send out emails with links. It's on our website. Um, we'll drop it in this chat soon. Um, but yeah, share it with everyone, all, all, all regions of the state. The higher the response rate, the better. Um, and we have a consultant who's working with on this, working with us on this. They're going to analyze the data. They helped design the survey. Um, so Survey will be open until June 15th. We probably won't have a report or summary of results probably until July. Um, but the second important part of this are stakeholder sessions. Um, they're calling them stakeholder sessions. Really, they're online virtual focus groups um, led by our consultants. Um, none of our staff will be on those phone calls. Um, those are forums. Um, where through June 5th to June 8th, our consultants have scheduled 10 separate stakeholder sessions. The sessions cover a variety of topics. Um, here are the dates, um, housing, CDBG, recipient jurisdictions, quality of place, economic development, 
Um, you are welcome, and we would encourage you, um, especially admins, members of, of RPCs, community members, or uh, you know, civic leaders, um, pick a couple of these um, and jump in and join them and be a part of the conversation. Our consultant will summarize the results from these different categories and we'll combine those with our survey results to provide us with a good, a good picture of future needs for different communities in Kansas. Um, in a survey itself, we will be able to sort, or I guess analyze by region as well. So we want as many responses to the survey from as many of uh, all regions of Kansas, because we're gonna be able to analyze the data by region to identify needs per region. Um, and the stakeholder sessions are an important part of that as well. Um, for outreach for this, we will be sending out a constant contact email with all of the dates and times. Um, and we would like you all to put those in your schedule or in your calendar and be sure to show up for one of one or more of those sessions to share your thoughts. Um, any other thoughts on the survey, guys? Anything else I'm missing? These stakeholder sessions will be virtual, correct? Yeah, they will yes. be virtual. Yeah, so you don't need to worry about travel for these stakeholder yeah. sessions. Uh, we wanted to make it as accessible as possible so that folks could really, um, we can get as much voice throughout the state as possible. Yeah. Um, any questions or comments or thoughts on those activities? You've got some questions in the chat, guys. Not sure if you saw that. Will the survey include water, sewer, infrastructure, and community facilities? Yes, that is, there are questions addressed on the uh, survey for that. Yeah, and, and please, please share these links, notify people about, we'll, we'll probably send a flyer out to you about the stakeholder sessions. Um, anyone who you who you think is a stakeholder or is a vested partner in CDBG, please encourage them to attend these. Um, we won't be on there, and we just would love the feedback, and we're looking forward to see what our consultant puts together in terms of uh, the data. So um, any other questions? Hey, Diane, they, they will be uh, remote. Yeah. All the stakeholder sessions will be remote. The, uh, when we send the invite out, the link will all will be pretty much live right when you get it. You'll just need to click in there on that date. We'll send out reminder emails that week um, to everybody. But yeah, it's all remote, no travel. Any any other questions or thoughts? All right. All right, yeah, like we said, uh, this was gonna be a very short third Thursday, uh, just due to the fact um, we're in the busy season here and we're trying to get some of these uh, applications reviewed and get some of the money out the door. Um, but we, we, do, we'll look, we will have a, a third Thursday next month. Um, we'll send that topic out soon. Um, but other than that, I hope, uh, thanks again for the applications um, and we look forward to seeing you all next time. Thank you. Thank you.